here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of numerical analysis welcome to video number 5 of uh, numerical integration and in this particular video we are going to solve fifth problem based on numerical integration in the playlist you will get total eight problems on this topic that is numerical integration and all the eight problems are equally important and i hope if you watch all the eight videos you won't have doubt in this topic so let us start with the problem the question says a curve is drawn to pass through points given by the following table a curve is drawn to pass through the points given by the following table here we have the values of x that is 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 3.5 and 4 corresponding values of y is 2 2.4 2.7, 2.8, 3, 2.6. This is 2.6. This is 2.1. So we have corresponding values of y. Okay. Now estimate the area bounded by the curve x-axis and the lines x equals to 1 and x equals to 4. Okay. We need to find the area bounded by the curve. Fine. Here you can see this is y naught. This is y. 1 this is y 2 y 3 y 4 y 5 y 6 okay fine now first of all we need to find the value of small h that is width now here you can see the gap is or you can say the difference is 0.5 in each case that is 1 1.5 the gap is 0.5 again here you can see the gap is 0.5 okay so here we can say width that is given by small h that is equals to 0.5 but we have to show by formula the formula is b minus a upon small n what is b that is extreme limit that is 4 what is a that is initial limit that is 1 and what is n that is number of steps how to find number of steps we have to calculate the number of elements given in the problem 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here we have 7 elements. So we need to get, we want to get number of steps that is number of elements minus 1. The number of elements is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Number of elements is 7. 7 minus 1 will give me number of steps that is small n. So here the value of b is 4. The value of a that is 1 upon the value of n number of steps that is 6. How 6? Number of elements here is 7. 7 minus 1 that is 6. Here you can see 4 minus 1 that is 3. 3 upon 6 that is half. Or you can say 0 0.5. So we, will, we got here that is h equals to 0 0.5. Now we need to find the area bounded by the curve. Okay. So here we are writing area bounded by the curve area equals to integration the formula is y dx here you can see the independent variable is x and dependent variable is y x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable and the range of x goes from 1 to 4 so we can say the limit goes from 1 to 4 fine now in the problem nothing is given like we have to use trapezoidal rule or Simpson's one third rule or Simpson's three by eight rule or Weddell's rule. So we need to see which method we need to apply here and why. So let us discuss these points in detail. We have four methods or you can say four rules that is trapezoidal rule or you can say Simpson's one by third rule we have Simpson's 3 by 8 rule and we have Weddell's rule. In trapezoidal rule the value of capital N is 1. In Simpson's one third rule the value of capital N is 2. In Simpson's 3 by 8 rule the value of capital N is 3. And in the case of Biddle's rule, the value of capital N is 6. Okay. 
now we need to find this is something that you need not to show in the problem okay i am discussing because you need to know where exactly we are using which rule but these things you should not show in the in your answer copy okay so the value of n is 6 we need to find the value of small n upon capital n okay small n upon capital n if the value is a natural number then we can say we can use that rule to solve the problem so the value of small n upon capital n in the case of trapezoidal rule that is 6 upon 1 is 6 and 6 is a natural number so we can say in this case we can use trapezoidal rule to solve the that is area bounded by the curve okay now if we go to the second rule that is simpson's one third rule the value of small n upon capital n that is 6 upon 2 how much 3 again 3 is a natural number so we can say in this particular problem we can use simpson's one third rule also okay so small n upon capital n value is 3 so in this particular problem we can use simpson's one third rule also fine now coming to the third rule that is simpson's 3 upon 8 rule the value of small n upon capital n n is 6 upon 3 that is 2 again we can say 2 is a natural number so in this particular problem we can use simpson's 3 by 8 rule okay in this particular problem we can use this rule too okay now coming to the fourth rule that is vidal's rule the value of small n upon capital n that is 6 upon 6 again 1 1 is a natural number so in this problem we can use trapezoidal rule simpson's one third rule simpson's 3 by 8 rule and vidal's rule we can use this rule but we use this particular rule okay simpson's one third rule because it is said like if we if we use this rule then the approximate value that we get after applying this rule is more closer to the actual value okay actual value of that integration i repeat i am repeating this once again if we apply this simpson's one third rule in that case the value that we get after solving by this rule is much closer okay to the actual value of that particular integration suppose in this problem the value of n is 3 okay the value of n is 3 small n is 3 in that case we can use trapezoidal rule simpson 3 by 8 rule and vidal's rule okay no we cannot use vidal's rule because the value of small n upon capital n will be not a natural number so in that case we can use trapezoidal rule and simpson's 3 by 8 rule in that case we will use this rule okay in that case we will use simpson's 3 by 8 rule okay whenever you get such method where we cannot use simpson's 3 1 1 by 3 rule simpson's 3 by 8 rule or we can say we cannot use vidal's rule in that case only we will use trapezoidal rule that is for n equals to 1 okay so in this particular problem all the rules are applied so we are using simpson's one third rule to solve the problem okay so coming to the problem here we are writing using simpson's 1 by third rule area would be integration 1 to 4 y dx you must remember the formula that is it is equals to h upon 3 bracket open here we can see y not to y6 so we are using this extreme values of y that is y not plus y6 plus four times odd uh, subscripts of y that is y1 plus y3 plus y5 here we have y6 so we don't have y7 so we are closing up to this plus twice now we have even subscripts of y that is y2 plus y4 now closing this now simply put the values okay we have all the values here we have all the values of y that is y0 y1 y2 up to y6 on putting the values and the value of small h is how much 0.5 okay so on calculating this you will get 7.7834 square units why i have written this because we are finding area so we you need to write units and this is the final answer okay thank you thank you so much